for Well, I want to go back to the other thing. I, in some ways, I agree with Brian. A lot of times it is somebody who's a libertarian. I think what we need is freedom. We need personal and economic freedom, and that's frankly what makes this country great. And people progress because of one set of rules. And when government gets involved a lot of times, they don't create one set of rules. They create rules for their friends, people who have influence, and too often people can buy that influence. Whether they're, whether they're unions or whether they're businesses, they can buy influence. And when they can buy influence, what happens is they can privatize their winnings and they socialize their losses. And a lot of times it is the poor people that get stuck with the bill. So what I think is that if you look at the situation of blacks, it is one, it's an economic problem that we have. Oprah and Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods are all black. And not one of them has a home ownership problem. They don't have a problem with the house they live in. They don't have a problem with education of their kids or their health because they've got money. So if you look, and this is some statistics from the 2010 census, if you take all the businesses with employees, all the majority owned businesses, that would be $9.4 trillion. Women, it's a trillion. His Asians, $455 billion. Hispanics, $276 billion. And blacks, $98 billion. So where are you going to get money to buy houses? Buying a house is an outcome of economic success. It is not a creator of economic success. So of course, if you're poor, you are, a lot of bad things are going to happen to you. I'm sure they've got this problem in West Virginia. But the issue is one of economics. So if we want things to get better, then you need to focus on the economics. One of the things that Martin Luther King said is that philanthropy is good, but the philanthropist shouldn't ignore the, the, re, the, why, the reasons why you need philanthropy. And I would say part of the problem is, especially when it comes to black people, people have this great big sympathy for black people is they want to treat black people like children. In fact, all the programs for everything is for little black kids. They call it inner city programs. They, what they mean is little black kid programs. But what happens is once they become adolescents and adults, then there's nothing for them anymore. And you go back to the next cycle of kids. So all the things around entrepreneurship are for fifth graders and sixth graders. And they talk about kids. Well, the responsibility of a, of a young person is to prepare themselves to be adults.